And welcome to the last episode that we'll do about the triangle congruency. And actually, this shouldn't even be called triangle congruency. It should be called triangle similarity. And we're going to use the postulate angle, angle, angle. So this is the case when we know all three angles in a triangle. So I'm going to start off with this green triangle here. And you can see that I know that this is a 90 degree angle. I know I've got a 40 degree angle and a 50 degree angle. In fact, if I know two of these angles in the triangle, I know what the other one is as well. But if I know all three angles in one triangle, and I have another triangle that has the exact same measures in the same areas, those triangles are similar. They don't have to be congruent. And I'm going to show you, though, that it creates some interesting situations. They'll be exact copies of each other, and they'll either be blown up, made bigger, or made smaller than the other one. So in this case, I've got this green triangle. It's got these angles, the 40 degrees, the 50 degrees, and they're joined by a line that's 10 centimeters long. Now, if you remember from our other lessons, if you had an angle, a side, and an angle that were all exactly the same, our triangles were congruent. On the yellow triangle, you'll notice that across from the 90 degree angle, the hypotenuse, fancy word for this long line in our triangle, they're not the same size, but this line does connect the 40 degree angle and the 50 degree angle on the yellow triangle. Hopefully you look at those two numbers and you can see that the yellow triangle is about half as big as the green triangle. So what's interesting about this side side or sorry angle 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 relationship is that if this side is half as big as this side then the other sides of the triangle will follow the same rule. So this one says that it's 7.6 centimeters long. This triangle should be seven, half of 7.6 on this line. And we'll test that with our ruler. We'll take our ruler and we'll put it over here. And I'm going to measure the length of this line. And half of 7.6 should be 3.8. And if I'm accurate with my measuring, there we go. And 3.8 centimeters is how long that line is if I line it up properly. And that holds true for all of our triangles. You'll see that whenever they have the same measure on their angles, that they'll have that same relationship. And again, if I measure this line right here, I know that this line on my triangle will be exactly half of its size as well. That's angle, angle, angle similarity in a nutshell.